Hi everyone, I'm Avi Flumbaum. I'm one of the founders of Flatiron School, and I'm here to walk you through solving your first lab on Learn using the IDE. So we're looking at this lab, and my first piece of advice is to basically read the entire README and get a sense of all of the instructions you're gonna have to do. Um, you can also watch this video and see me do it, which I think is really helpful. In general, with these labs, I think kind of getting an overview of what's going on before you start is a good piece of advice. So the first thing you're gonna do, once you've read it all, is you're gonna click on this open button up here. And that's gonna fire the IDE and open it up and get you ready to start working on your lab. So now the lab is open and the IDE is open and you're ready to start working. If you've never used an IDE or text editor before, let me give you a quick tour of what's going on. Over here on the left, we have a file tree that's showing you all of the files that are part of this lab. Over here, we have our terminal, which is kind of like our command line or our workbench. And you're going to be running commands against the lab from here. So you can kind of see that my cursor is blinking, and if I type in learn, that's going to run the test suite, which I'm going to explain in a second. The next thing to do is kind of get a sense of what this lab uh, is requiring you to do. And on this lab, all you need to do is make an edit to a file called editme.txt. And you can see that on the left in our file tree, there's that file. And if I click it, it opens it up in the text editor. So this part of the ID is the text editor, where you're going to be writing your code and uh, creating your programs. So all we have to do here is make any kind of edit and I'm gonna write hello world. And you can see this blue dot on the corner. That's telling me that this file hasn't been saved yet. So the next step is to save this file. And you can go to file, save, or hit command S or control S on Windows and save the file, and now you'll see the blue dot disappeared. Now if I rerun the test suite by typing in learn, and I have to make sure that I'm in the terminal, not in the text editor. So I type in learn, and now it's gonna see if I've met the requirements of this lab. And you can see the test suite is now all green and everything is passing and it's telling me that I've successfully made an edit to this file. If I go back to Learn for a second, you can see that Learn has been tracking your progress um, from when you opened the lab to passing the local tests. And the last step is to actually now submit the lab back. And the way you're gonna submit the lab is from your terminal in your IDE, you're gonna type in Learn Submit. So the lab has been submitted, and if I go back to learn, you can see that it marks it as completed, and I can progress to the next lesson. So that's a little tour about how to use the IDE, how to open labs, how to run your local tests, and submit them from your terminal. I hope you enjoy learning, and I wish you the best of luck in your progress.